Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, podcast world. Welcome to my channel. It is 3.38 p.m. on 1-19-2021. And I'm here to talk about, do you have a dream? What's your dream? Are you still dreaming? It never hurts to have a dream, to have something to think about, something to dream about, something to be a part of, a vision, somewhere to, to, to let the door know this is the direction that I'm going, this is what I plan on doing in life, this is what I want out of life. Let me know what your vision is. I'm here today to talk about when you start off as a small child and you envision yourself doing something and I, I just recently watched the movie Soul and it talks about your spark and it talks about uh, my favorite scene of the whole movie was when he went to the barber shop and the barber said he wants to be a veterinarian but it was cheaper to go to barber college and he doesn't regret a moment of it because he gets to help people. He gets to, he gets, he's really good at cutting hair. And he would have never known that, that cutting hair to be a barber was his calling. You never know what you're really called to do until it happens. Like, sometimes you might have a dream of being a superstar when at the end of the day, you're probably just called to be a customer service rep. Or you're called to be a door-to-door -door salesman. Or you're called to be a principal at a school. You never know what you are really called to do. Like, we, as I say, shoot for the stars so that you may touch the moon. Like, you never know what that is going to do for someone. You never know whose life you're changing or whose life you've changed or whose life you're affected or anything of that nature. Every time that you go forth and think about the things that you dream about and dream about the things that you have achieved on, you will know that this is where I'm meant to be. There's never a time where you shouldn't think about or dream about the things that you need or the things that you want because there's always a dream to come true for you. You never know what that's going to do. You never know what that's going to be. Think about the bigger picture. Who are you helping? If you're helping a great many people, then cool. Then that's cool. But if you are being selfish, it doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem like that's what you really want. That if that's the case, just think about all of that. Every time. Every time you come along and you're there and you're trying to become something greater and you're trying to become something more than what you are or whatever it is, you will know that this is a dream come true. I'm here for more than just me. I'm here for me and you. Like, Captain Steve Rogers, you know him as Captain America, said on the Avengers when he was talking to Tony Stark, Big man in an iron suit. Take that away. What are you? And Tony says, and Iron Man says, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist, genius. You know, he hit him back with four different titles in which he was. And they were going back and forth because the Mind Stone was messing with their mind. But at the end of the day, he made a good point. And, Iron, and, and Captain America said, you're not the type to lay down your life on the wire. And Tony Iron Man said, I think I would just cut the wire. And, you know, it's crazy because at the end of the movie, by the end of the movie, the council, the security council, 
decided to send a nuclear strike into Manhattan. And Nick Fury was against it. And he told Iron Man, you got a nuke coming your way, you know. And Iron Man said, I know exactly where I'm going to put it. He goes out, catches the the nuclear strike, the missile, and he sends it straight up into space. He sends it straight towards the bad guy. So that nuclear missile also turned out to be a blessing. It turned out to be a blessing in disguise. It turned out exactly to be exactly what they needed to destroy their enemies. Man, talking makes you thirsty. So, um, at the end of the day, you never know what's coming your way. But when you do, when you find out it's coming, there's an attack coming for you, you know where to put it. You need to turn that attack around and send it right towards your enemies. You need to take that strike, that, 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 that strike against you and turn it into something positive for you. You need to take what the enemy sent against you and send it right back at them. So he rides that rocket right straight through that portal and watches it strike the bad guys. The the Jatari, that was the name of the bad guys. The Jatari warriors that came to, to take over New York. So that being the case, this is, you know, at that point in time, you, you didn't know if he was going to survive. You didn't know if he was going to make it back through to the other side. You didn't think he could have been lost in space. Now, if you've uh, seen all the Avengers movies, if you're a Marvel fan, like I talk, I, I talk about this a lot because I'm a big Marvel fan. The Endgame movie. At the beginning of the Endgame movie, he's lost in space. There's a strong irony in that. It just it, where he first beat them is where it seemed like he was going to die in space, and here comes Captain Marvel and saves the day. So be on the lookout beyond the stars for a friend, because when it seems like you're in doubt, you have to figure something out. And there's always a ram in the bush. There's always someone out there if you looking. It's, it's that point in time where he was like ready to give up because, hey, he was like, this is it. This might be my last time sending a message out to you, Pepper. Which, you know, y'all know who Pepper was. Um, his girlfriend, basically. His wife. Future wife at the time. Basically ran pretty much everything for him. Pepper pots. Anyway, so um, um, he's telling her, "You might not see me again. This is it. It's you know, it's gonna be a real tearjerker. It's gonna make you cry to know that I'm about to perish and die here in space, floating off in space. And when I think about you, and that's all I pretty much do is is lately is think about you. And that's it. You know." Then he just kind of falls asleep. Nebula comes along, wraps him up, and next thing you know, he sees a bright light. But it's not that bright light. It's Captain Marvel there to save the day. So I just want y'all to understand that there is always a significant turnaround, a meaning, a thought. And here they are. It doesn't take too much to have a dream, to be a hero, but keep dreaming. Uh, keep believing. Keep on believing. Because you never know, it might be your final countdown. And I thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate y'all every time y'all do. Everything that you do, I appreciate it. It might seem like something or nothing or whatever. I really don't know. But when you're here, I'm here. (laughs) Just remember that. And when you're tuned in, it's for the best.
It's for the best you've ever had. And the best there ever was. And I just I appreciate that every time y'all come along and you know if 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 you ever had a moment of doubt, let it out. Let go of the doubt and and all of everything else that you could be experiencing because you never know what you are going to be dealing with today, tomorrow, the next day, whenever. So thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll definitely see y'all on the next episode. Wait up. Peace. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this. And stay tuned for the next video.